I think um, some of the decisions could be very biased, but I don't think they belong to parties. I think they're just lords. Yeah, they do. They have to, because they have to either be Lib Dems, Green Party, Conservatives or Labour. No. Yes. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe some of them are MPs, maybe some of them are just builders or something. I don't know, maybe some of them are just normal people that just do other jobs. They're allowed to do anything, aren't they? Except for like, because they practically rule the country in a way, because they pass, pass bills and stuff. I think they're allowed to, well, have a say on how the country's run, really. Make the main judgment about things, so they kind of like control everyone. I think they'll have some restrictions to what they say. Maybe they go to meetings and they talk to people or go to interviews. They, they have very limited uh, responsibilities. Some of them obviously have more because they're bishops and law lords and all the rest of it. They're not allowed to um, offend people in general. They are not allowed to make the laws themselves. I don't really think it's difficult. All you've got to do is just put your hand up or say yes or no. Very difficult. Because you have everyone's kind of ideas on your back, sort of. So you have to be quite responsible for everyone. All I know that what they do is just they vote and they sit in the House of Parliament and debate. I think it's quite stressful because like people rely on them to like kind of make the decisions. I'm not sure. Quite a lot, I think. Maybe not that much. Uh, billions. <laughs> Lots of money. I heard they don't get paid, but uh, that's what my friend told me, but... Maybe above 100,000. I think they should probably earn more than they do. Well, they get paid a, a, daily, a, daily, a daily fee. They don't get paid for it, that's what I know. Is that true? Or do some of them get paid? 